All right, guys, so I'm just going to uh, to do a little more of this. I'm just going to slather a little more of the uh, the paint on here. Uh, once again, this is just the, um, just the uh, patina coat, and this is the mixture of the uh, sage green, a little bit of the hunter green to darken it up, and then a lot of the burnt umber and the uh, ivory black. I said Mars black earlier. I, I misspoke there. It's an ivory black. Uh, but anyway, uh, just just kind of slathering this on here. I'm just using a, a large round brush. I probably should use a flat one, but this is what I had. So um, when it comes to painting it on uh, Conan here, I, I'm just because of all the little contours and things here of his musculature and everything else, uh, I am tending to be a little more uh, particular about it. I am I'm still kind of sloshing it on here, if you will. Uh, but I am also trying to um, really work it in and across the musculature and get it down into all these little details. And it's going to pull up quite a bit, especially here at his belt. There is like a little um, uh, cavern right there where it can, uh, it can pull up, a little valley, if you will. And so it's going to pull up real nicely in there. And so I'm just kind of really just kind of working it all over his face here and all these different little areas and then um like like here a hard point here his helmet where his helmet uh he's got these little details if i go across those details it's like raking the paint off of the uh, brush there so so that works out really really well uh and it really just kind of draws that paint into that area so um if you've ever done any type of dry brushing um you know, it's kind of the same thing. You know, when I'm dry brushing something, uh, and I will be uh, dry brushing a little of the uh, Victorian green on this when I'm done, uh, but um, when I'm dry brushing, what I'm looking for is all these little detail areas, and I go the opposite direction. So if I have this little curved piece, this kind of a horizontal piece, when I dry brush across it, I go in the opposite direction. I don't follow the direction of the curves or the edges, I go to the opposite direction, you know, perpendicular to it. Um, so, uh, you know, and that, that just helps uh, deliver the paint where I want it. So uh, that's essentially what this is. Now I can tell that this paint, uh, I guess sitting under these uh, studio lights, it is starting to, um, it is starting to set up a little bit. Um, and so, I'm going back in and I'm working it a little bit more here, but I can tell it's setting up pretty fast uh, already, which is not necessarily a great thing to have happen. I really want this thing to slow down. So uh, once again, that's that um, that's that future floor wax in there. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'm going to work this a little bit more. Uh, when I go across these muscles here, I'm going to try to work it kind of sideways across them, get it into all those little crevices there, sort of thing, like so. Uh, but uh, I'm going to keep working this paint here, this little patina wash, and hopefully come out with uh, some nice results here. It, it's looking pretty good, I have to admit, it looks pretty good. I was, I was, uh, even though I've tested this, I always get, uh, get a little, get a little anxious whenever it comes time to actually apply it to the finished piece here, uh, but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm just going to keep working it, and so I'm, I'm not going to shoot an entire video just on this. You don't want to see me painting this, this slurry on here the whole time. You get the idea. So in the next video, we will uh, we'll take a look at what the results are here, and um, and maybe go back in and either apply a second coat or maybe even wipe some of this off and start looking at our final coat where we have the uh, the more uh, burnt umber uh, and black. And so uh, and so that's it. Until next time.